For a region to truly thrive, everyone must have an opportunity to contribute toward its success. To recognize opportunity and inclusion in our community, the Business Courier and the Cincinnati USA Regional Chamber have created the CLIMB Awards. These inaugural awards celebrate the people and organizations that are building a more diverse, equitable culture. CLIMB is an acronym for Cincinnati Lifts Inclusion and Minority Business. A lot, a lot of our work at the Chamber is focused on making sure that the Cincinnati region is truly viewed as a destination for talent. Of course, businesses follow talent. So what our focus is, we need to just make sure everybody, no matter their race, color, religion, background, wherever and from whatever world they come, that Cincinnati and our region is home for them, that they feel included, that they are very much a part of the community that we're building to make sure that we can, in fact, reach those goals. CLIMB Awards categories include creating opportunity, providing resources, and groundbreaking collaboration, to name a few. The CLIMB Award in the category of fostering entrepreneurship went to Finley Kitchen, created by Corporation for Finley Market in 2016. It assists budding food entrepreneurs with the space, equipment, and expertise to get their business started. Marianne Hamilton is the Director of Food Innovation at Finley Market and joins Business Courier publisher Jamie Smith in the studio to talk about the work they're doing and what it means to our community. Marianne and Jamie. Man, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And congratulations on the award this week. That's, that was incredible. Thank you very much. Can you tell our audience a little bit about what exactly Finley, Finley Kitchen is and what, it, what you do? Sure. So Finley Kitchen is a nonprofit food business incubator that supports food entrepreneurs looking to start, grow, and scale their business. Uh, so we do this in a few ways. Um, the first is providing access to affordable licensed kitchen space, which is typically one of the largest barriers to entry into the food space. Um, so we have about 8,000 square feet um, of space in our facility, 11 kitchens, all outfitted with different types of commercial grade kitchen equipment um, that they can come in, use, rent on an hourly basis, test out their concept and really figure out if, this, if their passion should take the next step to turning into a business. Um, the second thing we support entrepreneurs with is access to business support services. Um, so we provide in-house mentorship, uh, monthly business development workshops, and then we partner with outside organizations um, to be able to leverage their expertise in areas like bookkeeping, accounting, branding, marketing, you name it, um, so that they have that great foundation from a business perspective. Um, and then and the third area that we provide um, is access to exclusive sales channels and opportunities to sell the food that they're making in our kitchen. Uh, so all big success factors. Absolutely. Uh, entrepreneur. Can you give me an, uh, an example of an entrepreneur that's been successful with you guys? For sure. So we currently have 70 active businesses operating out of Finley Kitchen. 80% um, of those fall into the minority women or immigrant owned category, um, which is phenomenal. Um, so lots of great uh, entrepreneurs to choose from, but our most recent graduate um, is the Arepa Place, um, owned by Isis Arieta Dennis. Um, she is from Colombia. Um, she immigrated here and started with our program when we opened about two and a half years ago, um, and just two months ago opened up her own brick and mortar restaurant right at Finley Market. Market right? Absolutely. It's even better. So she sells Colombian street food. Um, absolutely delicious. If you haven't been, you have to make That's, it there. I have to try it out. I'm all the time. For sure. Talk a little bit about what you think your organization means to the future of entrepreneurship in the food category. Sure. So we are working to literally change the face of who the typical food entrepreneur is in our region. Um, so pro by providing a more equitable um, approach to providing opportunities and access and the support and resources necessary, um, we look to create this platform um, that women, immigrant, and minority entrepreneurs can use to share their story and their food um, and ultimately their perspective and their experiences um, because we know that food is such a powerful connector right. and such a great tool to use to kind of bridge those gaps um, and break down barriers in, in being able to build a more inclusive and representative community. That's awesome. You mentioned off screen that sometimes success for these entrepreneurs is finding out 
it's really not what they want to do. <laughs> Absolutely. That is just as much of a success story for us as someone like the Arepa Place that goes yeah. on to open up their own. Because yeah. if you don't have to invest in the capital and you don't, you know, you haven't signed on the dotted line yeah. for a loan Sometimes that you can pay off. Sometimes you've gotten too far when you realize, for sure. I can't do it. For well, sure. That's great. Tell me a little bit, what did it mean to you guys to win the Climb Award? It, it, it's so incredible. So being able to wake up every day and pursue something that we are all so passionate about and being able to be a small part of these stories um, of these minor, minority food entrepreneurs and seeing them succeed, um, you know, and being in the room with all of these other organizations and individuals who also feel so passionately about being leaders in this space of, um, you know, equity and inclusion. Um, it, it was such an incredible and important experience. And I think also gave us, you know, th this platform to be able to stand up and say, this is inspiration for mm -hmm. other people in the community, other organizations who want to also take that ne next step forward, um, you know, and being leaders in this space and, and providing what, what our community needs to succeed. Well, that's great. Well, congratulations on the award. Congratulations on the success. You know, Thank it's you. just awesome when I get to talk to people that are not only doing great things for themselves, but really building in our community. Well, That's thank what you it's for absolutely, and thank you for you know putting this together oh, and for you know being leaders in this space. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, we hope to have more stories on you guys in the future. So keep us posted. Absolutely. Thank All you. All right. Thanks, Peg. Back to you. Thanks, Marianne and Jamie. And you can pick up a print edition to read about all of the climb honorees.